This is the Zopax PXC12. And this is the PXC12 with the accessory support kit and tear tape accessory installed. We're going to walk you through how to install these onto your Zopax machine. The accessory support kit and the tear tape accessory are sold separately, but we'll need them both. Let's start by taking the pair of washers that come in your accessory support kit and install those onto the knob of the bottom bar. You can see that this knob loosens easily by hand. Just slip the washer onto that bolt and replace the knob onto the end of the bar and tighten. Repeat this on the other side. We suggest doing one side at a time so balancing the bar is easier. Next, we'll install the brackets. Using a screwdriver, remove the screw from the end of the top bar. We'll be replacing this screw. Place the long screw from your kit in the bottom hole of the bracket. Next, loosen the black knob. The forked end of the bracket will slip over the bolt of the black knob. The washer we installed in the last step will stay on the outside of the bracket closest to the knob and the bracket is on the outside of the blue frame. Tighten the screw into the top bar and secure the black knob. Repeat this step on the other side of your machine. With the brackets in place, we'll move on to installing the accessory bar. To install the accessory bar, remove the screw from each end and secure through the top hole of each bracket. Tighten the screws. With the accessory bar installed, we'll move on to installing the tear tape accessory. Let's start with the brackets. Loosen the black knob on either end of the media bar. The forked ends slip over the bolts and you tighten it back up. Repeat on the other side. Again, we want to make sure that the bracket is between the blue frame and the knob washer. Next, let's prepare our roll of tear tape. We need to install these end caps onto the ends of either side of the tear tape roll. Set this down and grab the small bar from your kit. We're going to remove the screw on the end and reattach it through the bracket. Now we'll unscrew each side and slip the roll of tear tape onto the bar through those end caps. You want to make sure that the tape on the roll is coming over the top of the roll toward the front. Now feed the screw through the other bracket hole and tighten. Next, we'll install the tape alignment arm. Unscrew one side of the accessory bar and then loosen the other side a bit. This will give it a wider range of motion. Slip the arm onto the bar with a black knob towards the front. The arm should lay on top of the film roll. Tighten the screws on the accessory bar and tighten the black knob of the alignment arm. Attaching the tape to the film roll can be a bit tricky. Make sure the tape is coming up and over the top of the roll toward the front of the machine. You'll notice that the underside of the tape is a little sticky. You're going to feed it backwards toward the forked end of the alignment arm. Fit it into the fork and then let it bend the tape toward the front edge of the film. The sticky side of the tape will be against the roll of wrapping film. If the tape gets twisted, just trim off that end and start again. You can easily slide the roll of film left or right to gain access. If you're installing this on a full roll of film, you may want to adjust the large brackets forward to allow a bit more clearance between the roll of tear tape and wrapping film roll. With the tape in place, pull a couple of feet of film through. This will align the tape with the arm. If you notice the arm bouncing as you pull the film, simply tighten the black knob on the front of the arm. The last component of the installation is the forked slitter for the front of the machine. This part cuts the slit on either of the tear tape ends of your finished wrap. 
Start by removing the top screw to separate the pieces. The square piece and the screw are going to attach to the bottom forked piece through the top plate of your machine. Set these two pieces on the open slot above your wire. It should be centered on the tape line. You don't require needle nose pliers to grip the forked piece, but it can make it easier to hold it in place while installing the screw. To make sure it is installed correctly, bring the film with the tape across the screw. It should be perfectly centered. If it is not, you can loosen the alignment arm and scoot it right or left. Then tighten the black knob in place. Pull a couple of feet of film through to make sure the alignment is consistent. Bring the film down across the forks and press against it. The fork should pierce the film on either side of the tape. You have successfully installed your tear tape accessory.